nerds. We're, we're just people that love video games and found our passion and just play play every day. Well, the Cumberland County teen says he's found Scott his Pete. calling and it's all thanks to video games. Meet Seth Abner here. Now you may oh, think right games are right time and it's just about pushing buttons, but to Seth it's a career, a career that's expected to earn him hundreds of thousands of dollars this year alone. Here's CBS 21's Jesse Knudsen with an inside look at professional gaming. Today, this is the inside Seth look. Abner of Cumberland County is spending his time playing video games like many normal teenagers do. Let's go, dude. But the recent Cumberland Valley High Let's School go, grad is anything but normal. Is there side light? Growing up, Seth played basketball, baseball, and football, and he was successful at all of those sports. But they weren't his passion. His passion is video games, specifically Call of Duty. Everybody in school near me is the gamer. In 2011, when Seth was still in high school, he entered into his first Call of Duty tournament, which he ended up winning. But his success didn't keep people from judging his plan to be a professional gamer instead of going to college. Well, a lot of people think negatively of it. Whenever they hear a professional gamer, they're put into a negative connotation right away. They're like, professional gamer? Like, what is this kid doing with his life? After four years of competing, Seth has like. gained more than 600,000 followers on Twitter, more than 1 million subscribers on YouTube, and he's expected to make hundreds of thousands of dollars this year. All from playing video games. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Never in my life did I think that I would be where I am now. Oh! I got you, I got you. To get an inside look of what the world of professional gaming looks like, we traveled to Columbus, Ohio for a Call of Duty tournament where 128 teams faced off against each other for $25,000. Thank you. Seth's team, known as Optic Gaming, was the favorite to win it all. Optic is our Yankees, basically. Mikey! They're the big, biggest brand in the uh, in the league, for sure. That's Mike Sepso co-founded Major League Gaming in 2002, and what started out as a few friends playing video games turned into a business that rivals most professional sports. Our top players are making north of a million dollars a year now, and... Um, it's getting real. Big kill up top. Purple behind me and purple going behind me. Not only do these gamers compete against each other for big bucks, but they do it in front of a large audience. Not just in person, but online. What? Literally every day there's more and more people tuning in. Millions of viewers tune in to MLG TV each month to watch the best in the business play video games online. And it's not just for a couple minutes. The average viewer watches for over two hours at a time. The rise of the scumscribers. We will take over MLG one day. That was While last many night. tune in to see the top gamers in the world night. play, many also tune in for the personalities, Aaron like Neal. Seth, who is known by his fans as Scum. Thanks for the sub, man. I appreciate it. Welcome to the scumscribers. Give them a sub. Oh, that's so embarrassing. It's not just it playing. It's also communicating with fans and essentially, you know, building a business around yourself. And for Seth, business is good. Every time he plays, thousands watch his live stream. We're just really, really blessed to have people that come out and support us. These people support us like we're LeBron James. LeBron James! Fans from all over the country travel to cheer on Seth and Team Optic, wearing Optic t-shirts and waving Optic flags. Even Seth's mom was in the audience cheering him on. People travel long distances to see these players. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you here and you can understand yeah. it and see it, you don't get it. Kristen Abner has watched her son win four major league gaming championships and even a gold medal at the X Games. And she says while it's a video game, the stakes couldn't be higher. A lot of pressure. You know, sometimes a, a gunshot a in segment. the game can come down to, you know, a $20,000 prize pool either puts you up or it bumps you down. Seth says the key to success is practice. While video games may not be what you would consider a physical sport, they require extreme concentration, quick reaction times, and good communication. If you get all of those skills lined up, you can be successful. But that takes time, and those wanting to get into video games need to learn to balance their time. Video games shouldn't take over your life, but if you do your other priorities, such as schoolwork, academics, and sports, whatever you may be doing other than video games, then I don't see a big deal. As for Seth's family and friends, he says they couldn't be more supportive. I'm really happy that he's happy doing what he loves to do. I could never see myself not doing this. So next time you see your friend or family member playing video games, don't be so quick to judge because exactly. they're just wasting their time. Because if they play their cards right, they can not only make a good living, we turned up, turned down, then we turned up again at the end. But have a lot of fun along the way. Jesse Knudsen, CBS 21 News. Amazing. And I don't know a lot about video games, so I never knew this. Woo!
going on, but I he's mean, making a lot of I money. I know, he's a huge success and doing something he loves. I mean, yeah. a lot of people, we That's all right. our we look for that. Sure, know. and he seems like a good guy, too. Awesome. Yeah. Good guy. Oh, good guy, right? Around the AFC Championship game.